Hey coders and welcome to episode 2.1 of our slide service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. This video is going to be a supplement to our last episode, episode 2, when we talked about getting and inserting slides. Now let's learn about appending slides. So appending slides is basically the same as inserting slides, except for now you're appending it to the end of the presentation. And it has four optional parameters, layout, predefined layout, slide, and linking mode. These are exactly the same as the optional parameters in the method of insert slide. So if you're comfortable with those, you'll also be comfortable with these optional parameters. So let's jump into the code and put append slide to work. To append a slide to a presentation, you first need to tell AppScript which presentation you'd like to append that slide to. So, like in all of our videos, we've gotten slides app, and then we have opened our presentation by ID. And again, this is the presentation we're talking about. This is the one that we've been working on for the past couple episodes. Here is the ID found right in the URL. And we have pasted that right in here, and then gotten our presentation in a constant called presentation. All right, so to append slides, extremely easy. Presentation, and then dot append slide so it's right here to remind you guys append slide is basically the exact same thing as inserting a slide except for you are now inserting it right at the bottom of the presentation so that kind of takes away a little bit of the work trying to find where is the last slide and then appending it right after that and uh, with the append slide it does all the work for you it just puts it right at the bottom alrighty so again it a pen slide has a lot of optional parameters. It has layout, predefined layout, slide, linking mode. We briefly covered this in the last episode when we talked about inserting a slide, and we will probably go more in depth in a lot of these in a future episode. But for now, let's just pick one of these. And if you just chose, again, the one without any parameters, this would append a slide to the end of the presentation, a blank slide only. But since that's kind of boring, Let's choose this one now. Let's look a little bit more in depth in what this layout parameter means. So we need a layout. So we are going to look back at our presentation, our slides. And if you remember what layouts are, if you go up here the manual way, you can either say new slide or you can say new slide with layout. So I have created a new layout and it's right here. It's called custom layout. All of these other ones are come, they come predefined for you. So these are your predefined layouts and they are pre-made for you right out of the box. But if you want to create a new layout, say you have a company and you have certain branding, then what you can do is create new layouts. And here is one of them I've made right here. Again, just so that we're totally clear on that to make a new layout, you would go to edit master. Again, here is all of your layouts. And then you could go anywhere in here, but I just chose to go to the end. And then you would say something like new layout. It would make a new thing. You could edit this around and all that stuff. But again, this video is not going to be on layouts. This is just going to be on appending a slide. Oops, I said duplicate. I meant delete. All right, so we have this layout right here. How do we get to it? Well, we know that it is the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, index 11 of the layouts so that is what we need to do we need to get those layouts and again we're going to get our presentation and get layouts and then the index is now going to be the 11th so that is the layout that we want and we're going to now append a slide to our presentation using that layout all right so if we hit semicolon and we hit save we hit run we can now see over here that we have a new slide and it looks exactly like this layout, but let's just confirm that. If we go to our slide now, yep, we have our two placeholders. We have our company logo right here, and this is exactly what we were looking for at the end of our presentation with this layout. Again, this is synonymous to going up here with new slide with layout and then just clicking this, but we did that programmatically and we appended it to the very end of our slide deck. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned about appending slides and a little bit more about layouts. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.